Hey guys, so I wanted to talk to you about what I do on days that I'm taking a break. Like, for instance, today is Sunday, so I'm taking a break. These are my old garden journals. This is from 2009. I took wallpaper from my grandma's cabin because I loved it. And I made it really, really cutesy. Like, over-the-top cutesy. Everything with stickers. And this was what I would do when I was dreaming about seed catalogs. I would write things like... This is when I started this. So 2011, I put apples in. 2011, I put pears in. 2012, I put elderberries in. 2012, I put autumn olives in. And then I would make a list further back, see if I can find it, of my garden seeds. So I would take the catalogs that I was ordering out of, and I would cut up the seed packets, and I would cut up the um, catalog for where the fruit came from. And then on the margins, I would write down, let's see if I can find one on the margin, oh, and then planning for 2013 was all the things I wanted to plant the next year. And then I would write in the margins whether or not I liked something. I would have these little maps of the property that I would write out where things could go. Um, see, here's the margins. So these were things that I had planted that I wanted to talk about whether or not I liked them. And then I would have a list of how much they cost me, who I got them from, how much they cost me. I would write down um, things I needed to do with the animals. And then in the back I would have just a regular plain old journal. And I loved this thing. But I found what I planned on was for it to be some kind of like to-do list for the year. <laughs> and what it turned out being is more like a journal of my garden and my livestock and my life for the year. And so, 2009. And then this one is, which one is this one? This one is 2013. So there's 2013. I should probably put that in the front. But I've got all these really fat stickers on it, so it might be a little tricky. Um, oh, and then 2014. <laughs> so what happened was, after 2013, I found that I still had room in my journal, and so I combined 2013 and 2014. So there we go. 2013, and then I could actually take and put 2014 on the back to kind of show, hey, this is how we did this. So you can see this is what I do on a Sunday. I sit here and I putter, and I have a lot of fun puttering, but you'll also see that my journals get a lot less um, cutesy, a lot less crafty. A lot less gaudy the longer I do it because I start to see I kind of in my rhythm now so now I have 2013 2014 still cute but not nearly as many stickers as 2013 you can see what kind of energy I had in 2013 so I started keeping all of my notes for gardening are in cardstock instead of regular paper that's because I would be moving this a lot and you see there's no stickers. Now I've got it down to so these are the things I do this month. Um, my one ode to cutesy is that my cardstock is on different colors of paper as I go further along. But I still have things that I finished in 2013. And I have the list of everything I wanted to get done and in different sections. So back pasture versus front pasture, backyard, things I wanted to get done. And then as I finished them, I would put a little star next to it. So that was the chicken greenhouse that I wanted to do. Compost bin I wanted to do. So I got that done. Summer kitchen we got done in 2013. And then things I wanted to do for homeschooling. Things to do later. Things that I planted. So I made myself a little map of the backyard so that I could tell this is where I put this type of grape. This is where I put this pear. And that way I could remember that it was the Canada grape that went here, and it was the Concord grape that went here, and it was the Lapins cherry that went here, and it was the Poly peach that went here. And so that's how I did it. And then I have a list of things that I needed to buy more of in 2014. And then when I purchased them in 2014, I put a check mark next to them. Um, and then I have animals, I have garden journals, and that kind of thing, uh, life journals. I really liked it when they had this little pocket in here so I could put my pencil in. So there's 2013, 2014. Now I have more downstairs. Every year 
I make sure to have one that's open and empty. This is mine for this year, and it's very simple. Um, at one point, I sold these on the Etsy stores, and I really loved them. <laughs> and I was I was sewing covers for them because I found that leaving it just plastic like this was kind of rough on them. So I liked to have something that kind of protected it a little more. And I just kept it really simple again. Landscape. Here's my little map. I like to keep colored pencils with it. I like to have lined paper and blank paper. But for this year, I haven't done a lot of dreaming yet because my Sundays have been really busy. So today I'm going to sit and I'm going to work on my garden notebook. And I have a lot of things I need to change, a lot of things I need to fix. For next year, I'm not going to fix it this year because in August that's not when you fix your watering system. But early next year, what I need to do is fix my watering system because when geese walk over the top of my blue exhaust hose, it springs leaks. So I need to replace that with poly tubing, poly pipe. And um, then I won't have as much fuel that's wasted because I won't be wasting water that's shooting out these tiny pinprick holes. Um, so that's what I do. I need to go grab my colored pencils because I really like to use colored pencils with it. And I like to have a really nice sharp pencil. Um, the other thing I like to do is work on patterns. Not so much spinning. I do spinning to de-stress during my weekday. But I like to do patterns when I go to church. It helps me to stay focused better. It makes me feel like I'm still getting something done. So today it will be patterns, it will be knitting, and it will be working on my notebook. If you guys would be interested in me putting these back in the Etsy store, um, the one thing is I would need to get some more covers sewn. I really like to have covers on them, and I'd like to get some pencil cases put into them so that, pe so that you have like a hole punch Room for, room for a hole punch, room for a little um, set of color pencils, and, and room for scissors. So you can kind of play with it a little bit. Um, anyway, hopefully that was helpful. And I hope you're doing something super relaxing on your Sunday and taking the time to just take a deep breath, do something that rejuvenates you, and spend time with your family. So thanks for popping in. And I would like to be doing live streams on Sunday. I would really like to do that, but our internet here is so bad that it really it really cuts out a lot when I'm trying to do live. So I'm just trying to figure it all out. And thanks for popping in. We'll talk to you later.